Pittsburgh Free Will Baptist kids and any other kids listening, I'm glad you're back with me this week. This week, I'm going to read to you one of my favorite accounts in the Bible, one of my absolute favorites. So not only will you get a Bible lesson with Miss Melinda curled up here on the couch with me, but you're also going to get a challenge to do, pictures Mr. Mike's going to insert, and at the end, he's going to put on a music video that has a song that goes with today's lesson. So... Get your blanket, get your favorite stuffed animal, set close to brother or sister if you can. If you can't, separate yourselves, keep your hands from to yourself, and get ready to listen to my favorite Bible account. We're in the book of Joshua, chapter 6. Joshua's in the front part of your Bible. Those of you that have grabbed your Bibles and curled up on the couch with me, Joshua, chapter 6. And let's start. It says, Now the gates of Jericho were tightly shut because the people were afraid of the Israelites. No one was allowed to go out or in. But the Lord said to Joshua, I have given you Jericho, its kings, and all its strong warriors. You and your fighting men should march around the town once a day for six days. Seven priests will walk ahead of the ark, each carrying a ram's horn. On the seventh day, you're to march around the town seven times with the priest blowing the horns. When you hear the priests give one long blast on the ram's horn, have all the people shout as loud as they can. Then the walls of the town will collapse, and the people can charge straight into the town. So Joshua called together the priests and said, Take up the ark of the Lord's covenant and assign seven priests to walk in front of it, each carrying a ram's horn. Then he gave orders to the people, March around the city, and the armed men will lead the way in front of the ark of the Lord. After Joshua spoke to the people, the seven priests with the ram's horns started marching in the presence of the Lord, blowing the horns as they marched, and the ark of the Lord's covenant followed behind them. Some of the armed men marched in front of the priests with the horns, and some behind the ark with the priests continually blowing the horns. Do not shout, do not even talk, Joshua commanded. Not a single word from any one of you <clears throat> until I tell you to shout, then shout. So the ark of the Lord was carried around the town once that day, and then everyone returned to spend the night at the camp. Joshua got up early the next morning, and the priests again carried the ark of the Lord. The seven priests with the ram's horn marched in front of the ark of the Lord, blowing their horns. Again, the armed men marched both in front of the priests and behind the ark. All this time, the priests were blowing their horns. On the second day, they marched around the town once again and returned to the camp. They followed this pattern for six days. On the seventh day, the Israelites got up at dawn and marched around the town as they had done before. But this time, they went around the town seven times. The seventh time around, as the priest sounded the long blast on their horns, Joshua commanded the people, Shout, for the Lord has given you this town. We'll jump down to verse 20 now where it says, When the people heard the sound of the ram's horn, they shouted as loud as they could. Suddenly, the walls of Jericho collapsed, and the Israelites charged straight into the town and captured it. One of my favorite Bible accounts, God asked Joshua to do something special. It didn't make sense to Joshua walking around and around, blowing a horn every once in a while, and being able to shout loud enough to tear down the walls of a town made no sense at all, but Joshua trusted God. That's what we need to do. We need to trust God too. Your challenge this week, I want you to have mom and dad's help with this. I want you to find some boxes or some blocks or even some marshmallows, something fun to build up a wall. Can you make a wall out of something? Maybe mom and dad have been buying a lot of Amazon things and maybe you've got a lot of Amazon boxes around the house. Stack them up as high as you can, make a wall, and then tear it down. Be careful not to make your wall out of something very heavy, but I want you to try making a wall. Maybe you can march around it and see if you can't knock that wall down. Maybe that little exercise will remind you of what God did for Joshua. And then, Maybe after that, you can go back and repeat this music video that Mr. Mike is going to insert here. It's a song about the story we've had today. I hope you like it, and I can't wait to see you next week. 
Have a good week. Bye. Well, get your horns out and march around Jericho. We're gonna march around and blow as we go. We're gonna march all day around and around until the walls come tumbling down. And we're gonna blow high. We're gonna blow low. We're gonna march and play our horns as we go around the walls of Jericho. Get your drums out and march around Jericho. We're gonna march around and bang as we go. We're gonna march all day.